Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. Now I get to drink early times. Old early times, new early times, Brown Foreman, Sazerac, $20, one liter. Are you ready to drink these tonight? Yeah, Phil got to try the new one a couple weeks ago and I had to work. So now it's my turn. Yeah, tonight we're both gonna work a little bit, I guess. <laughs> There's not much to say. It's bottled in bond product, used to be Brown Foreman, now it's Sazerac. I've always loved this product. You have too. I have, and it's a steal at $20. Blind tasting, Julie mm -hmm. poured them, I mixed them around. We were gonna nose them, taste them, and find out if there's a real difference between these two. Some say it's a huge difference, some say there's no difference at all. Let's find out, let's get out of the nose. Glass number one. All right. Fruit and sugar. <laughs> yeah. Red fruit, white sugar, Beautiful. I do get some oakiness in here, but knowing that there's some brown foreman in there, I wonder if I'll get any banana on the nose of one of these. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna move on to glass two now, and that's the word on the street that is the same juice just under the Sazerac flag for now until they run out, and then it'll be Sazerac juice. Hmm. Actually, glass number one is a little bit sweeter. On the nose, I think it's more of like a raspberry nose. These might be the same thing. <laughs> glass number two is just a little less potent. It has a little bit of a, just a, a potpourri-ness to it. I always say that. I don't really mean potpourri, but just that kind of... They're, they're both aromatic and a little pungent. I can't find mm. enough of a difference on the nose to say that they're really that different. I think we need to go in for a sip here. Let's do this. Glass number one. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. This is not going to be a hardship today. <laughs> really brown sugary on that. Yeah. Mm, very sugary. <laughs> very sugary. <laughs> the, yeah, the sweetness is incredible here. And, and you said potpourri. There is a little bit of something taking my breath away here, mm -hmm. the way that a potpourri can do, but it's not in an, in an offensive way. I hate potpourri. I, I like this. Maybe floral is a mm -hmm. better way to put it. Actually, that's great, because when you said potpourri, I was like, not your grandma's potpourri, <laughs> but floral's a little bit more in line with what I'm thinking. You should do marketing for potpourri companies. <laughs> it's not your grandma's potpourri. It still stinks, though. <laughs> Beautiful. Coat's nice. Nice whiskey. Mm -hmm. There's good vanilla in there. None of the flavors are blowing me away. Mm -hmm. There's a red fruit, strawberry or raspberry, yeah. something like that, that I tend to get on all the early times. Yeah. I think that it has really nice flavors. There's nothing like extraordinary about them. Super easy to drink, which I know everyone hates saying that, but it is, yeah. it's super easy to drink. It's a good drink. Yeah, if I was gonna give it a medal, it would be least offensive whiskey. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That 100 proof, it's just a nice heat. Completely agree. Let's get on to glass two here. Mm, actually, I think these taste different. I think so too. I actually got some watermelon on my glass two. I completely agree. <laughs> that was very strange. Yeah, there's like a banana, watermelon, something a little bit tropical summertime happening yeah. in here. It almost reminded me of the watermelon uh, Bubblicious. Oh, I know you like that. I did. That was like my go-to <laughs> as a kid. Wow. This makes me want to drink more of it for sure. Mm -hmm. It's been so long since I've had early times oh, that yeah. I actually don't remember what it's supposed to taste like, like the original one. We've been holding off because we didn't want to get too much into this old bottle until we had the new bottle. It's one of those things where it's going away, so you get afraid that it's going to be ruined, so you, yeah. don't, you don't want to drink the old one. Banana, tropical notes, maybe yeah. even coconut here, brown sugar. I think the oak might come through a little bit more here. I'm getting more from it, but there's definitely a big similarity here. And I'll say at first blush, glass number two really hits my palate pretty beautifully just because yeah. those flavors are really sweet and, and lively and unique. Yeah. Glass number one though, is probably a bit more mainstream. I actually have no idea which one's which, so I'm curious which glass is which. You talk about this a lot, how if you're going to drink a whiskey, if you're gonna go for something that's not your normal everyday sipper, you want something that's a little more unique. Right. If you're gonna have more than a couple bottles on the shelf, they better be different in flavor. Yeah. I think we're getting different flavors on yeah. these, especially on glass number two. There's something unique happening there. Well, you can't go wrong. Mouthfeel, I'm getting a little more on glass two. I think it's mm -hmm. a little more viscous hangs around a little more, just a touch more on the finish here. Yeah, and I'm with you on this. I, I really like the nose on glass one. I actually th think it's a superior nose, but I like the palette and the finish on glass number two. I would go with that. 
Well, I've got my decision. Do you have yours? Yeah, and it hasn't changed. I'm going with glass number two. Glass number one came out a little boring and I picked up a little banana note on top of all of the other flavors we've talked about on glass number two. I just like the flavor profile on glass number two better. Yeah, and I'm with you. I think that glass number two, I think that the mouth feels a little better. The viscosity is a little better. I think that glass one is Standard bourbon, very good. Both yeah. of these, by the way, are exceedingly delicious, delicious but sweet. Yeah, very <laughs> sweet bourbon. So if you are looking for a budget bourbon that is super sweet, and a lot of people are when you hear people say like, oh, it drinks smooth. A lot of times, I mean, it tastes like candy. Both of these do, so. I love things that taste like candy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're both on glass two, but I gotta say glass one doesn't disappoint me at no. all. I think it's a very good glass of whiskey. What do we got here? A. 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 <laughs> I was a little worried about this, but the glass that we selected is the old one. So we can't get it anymore, but we do yeah. have a pretty full bottle here. Yeah, and at, to be honest, I'm not surprised. The, yeah. the fruit notes that were coming out of here, the mm -hmm. artificial flavoring of banana, a little watermelon, yeah. some of those tropical notes, even a little coconut at the end here. Not super surprised that that was the old one, but I will say, this new version is not bad. Yeah, and Early Times was one of those bottles when I first started getting into drinking bourbon. Phil brought it home, he was like, you're gonna really like this. And now I can see why I really liked it because <laughs> it is delicious. I do think that if you are just starting out with whiskey, you're looking for a good $20 value, and I know this one is not readily available out there. It's only available in a handful of states, I believe. Yeah. Hopefully that changes with Sazerac's distribution, but I can't really recommend this bottle enough, the old or the new, for 20 yeah. bucks, what you're getting, high quality, and whether that's gonna have totally different juice in it in the next year or two, we have no idea. If it does, great, we'll do this again. But I have to say, I'm quite satisfied with both of these bottles. So does this surprise you after your Whiskey in the Van Wednesday review of this? A little bit, yeah, because I expected that the old bottle would have less sweetness, right. honestly, because the new bottle I, I found so much fruit sweetness on, <laughs> to go back and find out that there was just as much sweetness, although it's more in a different <laughs> way. So if it's the same juice, maybe it's being blended differently, maybe it's a different batch of barrels, delicious either way, and uh, I think it's a bottle that should be on your shelf, yeah? Yeah, it's delicious, I love it. Fantastic, well there you have it, from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. 20 bucks. Fruity. <laughs>